I don't um, show my ears anyway. I like to just have a little earring there if they do manage to escape. Hello one and all, welcome back. I've done jewellery collection videos before, actually I think I've only done one, but things have changed a little bit. Now you might say, Marie, you have already got some jewellery on, that's because these pieces were all included in the last jewellery collection, except for the ears because there is no earrings in my ears right now. But basically what we're going to do today is go through my brand new additions to my jewellery collection. Some of the things that I have added to the collection have been things that I have wanted to add to this collection for years. I think I'm going to start with two things from the same brand. Now I th I have always called it Monica Vineda, but I think it's Monica Vineda. Regardless of how you say it, beautiful packaging. Let's start with this. Look at that. It's literally a drawer. I'm storing these pieces in their boxes because I just wanna, I just wanna keep them sacred, you know? This is actually the thing that I have wanted to wear and own since kind of 2018. These really had a moment in 2018. And it is the signature bangle. Ooh, well I messed that bit up, didn't I? This has been my dream bracelet for so long. It's very simple. It's got this gold bar that sits on the wrist. I will show you on in a second. It has a clasp. I think it might be pushing it, asking for my camera to focus on that, but there is a little M on the clasp. That might be for Monica, but we'll say it's for Maria. They have three uh, kind of thicknesses of the bangle, and then each thickness comes in three sizes. So the size I have is the smallest one, like wrist size, and then it, I have the middle thickness, which I believe is called signature thin bangle. I'm pretty sure it's signature bangle, signature thin bangle, and signature skinny bangle, which is smaller and therefore cheaper. So I'm going to attempt to show you how to open it on this background because it helps with the focusing. You have to push down this and then lift the bar. Ooh. Yes, okay. It, it sounds a bit scary, but no, it is. It just fastens really well. Um, and obviously I was doing it at a bit of a weird angle just then. So. So don't be alarmed, this is how it's supposed to look. You basically push that in if you wanted to close it and then it would close the gap and snap together but we're gonna put it on. So obviously you can sit it on your wrist like this which is actually how I've been wearing it but you could also wear it higher up. If you have got tiny wrists like me, it will kind of sit slightly larger but when you have it down like this, because of the clasp, it's, it's not going anywhere and that's what I really like about it um, and it just looks really nice, kind of sat very simply on the end of your wrist. But like I wear this one, you could wear it a little bit higher up and stick it in place if you want to. I am a big fan of gold hoop earrings. I literally wear one pair uh, up until now. I have just worn one pair, but I've always wanted a slightly chunkier pair, uh, maybe for kind of evening wear, but also these are quite every day. Here we have the slightly chunkier hoops. Obviously everything will be linked below. I can't remember the exact name of these, but they're just a very, very simple, but still quite interesting hoop. The size and shape of them, it's not uniform. You know, they're not a complete perfect circle. They look a bit like, they kind of have that handmade look to them. They're kind of like ever so slightly kind of like pebble dashed. I hope that picked up on the camera, but yeah, uh, really good just like, a basic that you'll get so much wear out of that I will get so much wear out of um, and will continue to wear my other ones for just like every day and then these are more of like a if you're doing something important in the day or if you've got like a evening thing to go to these are great they're just that bit thicker and slightly more interesting I don't um, show my ears anyway but I like to just have a little earring there if they do manage to escape. I'm actually going to show you a very interesting one now. This is completely different to what I've already shown you and will continue to show you. This is from H. Samuel and it's a collaboration with Disney. Now, uh, you might think Disney is Disney, they don't have jewellery. They actually do and they have a fine jewellery company. So this isn't like very cheap um, jewellery. This is fine jewellery. So we've got real gemstones in here and this has diamond and tanzanite in it. So it's really interesting. Follows the kind of theme of the whole collaboration. And as we open the box, you see this. <laughs> Actually, that's picking up quite well, isn't it? 
there you go so you've got diamonds on the outside rose gold in the middle in the casing and then tanzanite stone in the middle this is something that's really interesting actually because apparently tanzanite is not going to be um mined for much longer i think it's like a finite resource so the fact that that has a tanzanite stone in it makes it quite interesting because obviously it's going to be something that's not going to be available at some point will that make the value of the necklace go up i don't know um i think maybe but i'm not really sure if you know um you could tell me but um yeah really nice necklace it's really interesting because it's in collaboration with disney and you think disney is that kind of for kids but no i think there are quite a lot of adults that do really like disney we all grew up with it and i think actually when you look at it and you think that doesn't scream disney it just looks like a really nice necklace so that is something that's really interesting and definitely a bit different um for my collection switching back now to the more traditional gold jewelry we have something from edge of ember and this is the in the fro collaboration she's done a lot of collaborations with edge of ember um, and this is the first time i have ever had a piece from them this is from the paradise collection i believe it was called and then there was different kind of areas and this is the veneto chain i think it's got something to do with venice has it got something to do with venice i can't remember exactly but it's the paradise collection because <laughs> i wear it every day i just kind of stick it on top of it now you're gonna see it it's this this has literally become my everyday necklace i have wanted a chunky chain for so long and finally i have a correct one and as you can tell i don't know if you can you can sort of tell how heavy that is it's a heavy chain you know it's really not um flimsy quality it's very good so it has its fastening here which is a really chunky fastening which is amazing actually because normally you get so used to fiddling with stuff like that it really elevates an outfit like i've literally got a t-shirt and jeans on but look some people i have seen wearing it like this which is actually quite cool and i do think that that would be something that like it's it's sort of like if the clasp moves around which it actually doesn't do but if it did um you wouldn't be like oh no my chain's on backwards because it does look quite cool i just think uh like not necessarily wearing it with the t-shirt with the uh logo on it because that's kind of distracting but when I wear this with just like a plain t-shirt it just makes the outfit look so much more like an outfit as well what's really nice with autumn coming like having like a high neck jumper on a polo neck and this it just looks so nice such nice quality I think as well that is um gold vermil 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 I don't know uh, but yeah it's really nice quality really heavy uh, and it's gonna last me for ages i do tend to really look after my jewelry i keep it in one location i get good wear out of every single piece um so i'm very pleased with that one and it's literally become my everyday chain if you follow me on instagram you're probably gonna be sick of it because i just wear this now finally the last piece we have is from edge of ember again but different box I imagine this is their um like normal packaging and this is really nice this is really lovely kind of gold writing with a really nice emerald green and this is definitely something that's different as well this is a little beaded necklace so definitely more of like a trend piece but also something that as we you know we're going into autumn winter now so i wanted one that had sort of like a a range of colors to match with outfits but also this is going to come right back around in spring and summer again massively this is going to be quite difficult to show you on the focus but as you can see it's got loads of different colors matching around it i tend to wear this with whatever i just kind of have it layered with the chunky chain which is quite nice it's just a bit of contrast um you can literally pick out any color from this and it works really well so it will work really well with autumnal outfits obviously this is quite like a summer vibe but i think it's going to work really nicely for autumn winter as well and again it's something a bit different this is more of a trend piece rather than the kind of classic jewelry that i usually go for but i think every now and then nice quality trend piece that will last through seasons versus like getting something really cheap and it dies after a week of wearing it so that is it i hope you've enjoyed seeing what i have brand new in my jewelry collection i'm very proud of my new pieces and i have been wearing them greatly with pride
I don't know what I'm saying. I'm tired and I need to go and have something to eat. I hope you enjoyed. As always, everything will be linked below in the description if you want to check anything out, if you want to shop anything. It's all linked in there. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.